Hello friends, I am Shalyu Pujari and I am an educator on Unacademy. You can follow me on Unacademy Learning app where you will find my other courses as well. So this lesson is on total oxygen demand and theoretical oxygen demand related to characteristics of sewage course that I am conducting now. So please do rate, review and recommend my courses and lessons. Share this video and subscribe us on YouTube channel. Thank you. Hello friends, welcome to an academy and my 13th lesson of this course uh, uh, that is on TOD, Total Oxygen Demand and THOD that is Theoretical Oxygen Demand by Sharyu Pujari. So about me, I have completed my MTech in Environmental Science and Technology. I have completed my B in Civil Engineering. I have two years of experience in teaching and you can follow me on this link. So if you follow me, you will get notified every time I publish a new lesson or new course on this platform. So this is my profile on an Academy Learning app where you will find my other courses as well. So please do rate, review and recommend my courses and lessons because it is very very important for me. Also do share this video and subscribe us on our YouTube channel. So friends, uh, let's start with this lesson which starts with total oxygen demand. So generally before this uh, we have seen what is uh, what are the characteristics of sewage in detail. We have seen BOD, we have seen COD and we have solved some 2 marks and 1 marks MCQs related to BOD and COD right. So next is now TOD that is total oxygen demand. So it is the amount of oxygen required to oxidize biodegradable and non-biodegradable organic matter along with few organic substances which are oxidizable so that is TOD that's why it is greater than COD and COD is greater than BOD right so this relation is very important and why uh, TOD is greater than COD because uh, with uh, it is the oxygen required to oxidize biodegradable non-biodegradable organic matter along with some few organic substances whereas COD represent both biological active and inactive organic matter and whereas BOD gives only biological uh, active organic matter only that's why uh, TOD is greater than COD and COD is greater than BOD so this is very important so next is theoretical oxygen demand that is THOD so it is the oxygen demand found by establishing relation between oxygen and other chemical substances which are oxidizable in chemical reaction so we'll solve some examples so that you will get an idea how to find out theoretical oxygen demand right so the question is the amount of co2 generated in kg while completely oxidizing 1 kg of methane so the reaction is given ch4 plus 2o2 gives co2 plus 2h2o right so here we first we need to find out the amount of co2 generated in kg while completely oxidizing 1 kg of methane so methane and co2 these two are important so first we need to find out so the solution in solution first we need to find out the molecular weight of ch4 so C is 12 and H is 1. So 12 plus 4 into 1 will give us 16. And molecular weight of CO2, C is 12 and O is 16. So 12 plus uh, 2 into 16 will give us 44, right? So 16 parts of methane generate 44 parts of CO2. So one part of methane generate 44 by 16 parts of CO2 where 1 kg of methane generate 44 by 16 into 1 kg it will give us 2.75 kg. So 2.75 kg CO2 is generated while completely oxidizing 1 kg of methane. So this is our expected answer. So next is so in our previous problem also we need to find out the THOD that is theoretical oxygen demand of methane so ch4 plus 2o2 gives co2 plus 2h2o 
so this a uh, reaction is given here so first we need to find out the molecular weight of ch4 that is is equal to c is 12 and h is 1 so 12 plus 4 into 1 will give us 16 and molecular weight of 2o2 that is 2 into 16 into 2 that will give us 64 so molecular weight of 2o2 is 64 so 16 parts of methane demand 64 parts of o2 and one part of methane demand is equal to 64 by 16 parts of O2. So 1 kg of methane demand will be 64 by 16 into 1 kg. So it will 1 kg of methane will give us 4 kg of O2. So this is our THOD. So this is the expected answer for this question. So 4 kg is the correct answer. So in this way, we can solve some examples which are asked to find out the THOD that is theoretical oxygen demand from the chemical reaction. So a chemical reaction will be given and then we need to find out, right? So the next question MCQ is that correct relationship between total oxygen demand that is TOD by chemical oxygen demand BOD and chemical oxygen demand COD is given by so in the first slide itself i have explained that option b is the correct option that tod is greater than cod and cod is greater than bod right so uh, because uh, in the first slide itself we have seen that TOD is the amount of oxygen required to oxidize biodegradable and non-biodegradable organic matter along with few organic substances which are oxidizable. And in COD, we say uh, it represents uh, both biological active and inactive organic matter and BOD only gives biological active organic matter, right? So, uh, according to that, TOD is greater than COD and COD is greater than BOD, right? So, option B is the correct option for this question. So, next question is the correct statement of comparison of ultimate BOD, COD, THOD and 5A BOD that is BOD5 is. This question was asked in IES 2002 and your options are given. So this relation, your two type of BODs are there. That is one is ultimate BOD and next is 5D BOD. So ultimate BOD is our right is our L naught. So if you recall from a previous lesson on BOD, I have explained what is ultimate BOD and BOD phi with the help of a graph curve, right? So please do refer that so you will get to know the difference between the ultimate BOD and 5D BOD. So here the correct option is option B that is COD is greater than THOD and THOD is greater than ultimate BOD and ultimate BOD is greater than BOD5 that is 5D BOD. So option B is the correct option for this question. So in this way we have seen what is COD or this THOD. We have solved some example on THOD and we have seen some MCQs. So please uh, do rate review and recommend my courses and lessons i hope this was helpful for you and thank you for watching my video and please do share this video and subscribe us on youtube channel thank you